Welcome to live chat. <laughs> All right. I think All we right. are live. Cool. Let me see. I'll be able to see more. This is first live. Testing it out. I have my friend Marie with me. <laughs> we're going to do a pour over this vase while we're waiting on her paintings to finish dry. So it says, there's one person on, but I don't know how to see. Hmm. I think this is dry on the outside completely. We can wipe it down with alcohol okay. to make sure that it's completely clean. Oh, the alcohol's over there on that shelf. And there's paper towels down there. We have four or five people watching. Nice. Hi, yeah. everybody. This is my first live, and I don't know what I'm doing, so bear with us. <laughs> bear with us. So I guess we're drying this off, cleaning it up, because we're going to do a paint pour on it to semi-match these um, pictures we did, what, like a month ago maybe already? Was it a month ago already? I feel like it's been a month <laughs> now. So, maybe. these will go above my couch in my living room and this will be in addition to it so that I can have some little floral arrangements to go nicely. And so we'll be getting started soon. Okay, I figured out how to get, pull up the live chat over here. Awesome. Okay. straight pour and kind of just pour the paint on the vase okay or if you want we can layer the cup and do how we did the paintings okay what um, do you want to do i say so i my kind of like ideal base for this project would be like the solid white base so maybe we can start with that okay and then kind of have some of these as like mostly accents I guess. Okay. So that um it can it can kind of be because I want to be able to use it for multiple seasons of the year and change out my floral arrangements so that it stays relevant throughout the year. Okay. So okay. mostly white. Well let's start off with the white. Okay. So I just pour? Yeah. You already wiped this down with alcohol, right? I did. Okay. Just pour from the center top. Yep. All right. Again, my first time doing this, so let's see. Am I gonna do it like super slow or just pour it? Just pour. It. Well, let's see. Might need more paint, so I'm gonna get this white from over here. Already, I'm excited. Oh, that looks so cool! Right Just like the drips. Yeah. Here's some more. Okay. Some more of this out. I'm gonna take this down and go in for kind of a close up here because that looks pretty cool. Okay. 
most, not all of it, but most of the white out of this little container. Um, looks good already. We'll definitely need some more of the white. Here's some white right here. Okay, awesome. All right, we'll keep going. Got like nine people on. Nice. Hi, everybody. This is our first live. Very first live ever. So, just to kind of repeat what we're doing, we are creating a vase to match these pictures that we did about a month ago. I think we did them about a month ago. Um, they're going to go hanging above my couch in my living room. And I wanted a vase to kind of match as well. Um, that way I can, we're doing the white vase so they can have like kind of a universal feel to it and be able to do different floral arrangements throughout different seasons. So that's what we're doing with this one. I think we still need more white, Charles. Looking good so far. I want some more white? Yeah. Let me see this cup. Okay. So these are the colors we're using, like a, it's called, what is this one? So um, navy. It's right here. English navy. English navy. It's a super dark blue, which I'm a big fan of. This is um, like a white base with gold glitter champagne. And this one's called royal gold. Came out super pretty. And then again with the white base. So again, to match these, it'll be in my living room. I'm just gonna mix this up real fast for you. Okay. Come here, my girl. And Bella again. She's just hanging out with us. <laughs> Little cutie. So, girl. Got to kind of keep an eye on the time. It's 10 minutes till 2, so I'll have about until 2.25. What time is it now? 1.50. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll be done by then. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Looks like there are a couple of bubbles here. Let's see if do you know how to use a torch? I do not. I never use a torch. So this is the little torch that I use. Okay. You can just click it down, and then you press this button, and you just kind of take it over there really nice, nice. and it'll pop these bubbles. Cool. Okay. This one's still there, but the other one's in the way. And here. And she has this vase here, which is like perfect because it's different from what I was looking for and then I saw it and I was like, I think that's a really great vase. So it's a little different from the norm, just a simple vase and I like the top end of it. kind of reminds me of like a, like a margarita glass. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> margarita sounds good. <laughs> Make me want a margarita now. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna add some more photos to this. I wonder, so when you did your first base, did you have it sitting on anything where you were able to turn it? Because I just realized I don't have. I had it, you know, I had it sitting on a cup, okay. but that opening is kind of, um. It's big. It's different. Yeah. I wonder if it'll like sit on this one like that. I don't know. I can try it. <laughs> and if not, that's not a big deal. I guess we can just, you know, work around it. Whatever you think. I think we should work around it. Or you yeah, want to put it on the cup? I kind of want to put it on the cup. Okay. That way it won't stick oh. to the table. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do that. So. Okay. I'm going to sure. pick the base up and then just kind of slide this under. Okay. And then we'll see if it... I'll be slippery. No, it won't fit. 
No. Okay. I need like a something different. Okay. Um. What about? Do you have like a much bigger cup? I do, but like the end of that one is already big. I need something sitting. It's such like an odd shape. Yeah. We can try this cup. But okay. So we're trying to put this vase on something <laughs> on a base so that we can kind of work around and so it doesn't just build up at the bottom. Okay. Which, okay, you ready? Ready? Okay. Let's try this. Okay. No. Yeah. I don't, it's okay. We'll just, we'll work with it. We'll work with it. We'll I'll figure it out. Okay. So... Now we'll keep pouring some more white paint to just get that base layer covered. It looks so pretty already. I'm like a big fan of really, really simple and clean looking. It's very elegant. Yeah, for sure. And so I'm already a fan. Okay. So we'll pour mostly on this side because this is the side that's needing it. It's crazy because like the vase goes in like yeah. that. So I wonder if I can try pouring it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's like going around. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're getting some more coverage. There we go. There we go. I think that'll just about do it. Cool, yeah. I wonder if, do you think it'll even out on this side? Yeah, it's all gonna drip down. It's gonna continue to drip too whenever we add more color. Okay, cool. For sure. Okay. Yeah, there, it's fully covered in white. And now we can, do we pop the bubbles now or? Yeah, we can do it now. And you said to push this thing in or no? You can also put it on this. That would be good to put it on. That would be perfect, actually. Right? Yeah. Okay. That would be perfect. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay. Oh. Oh, this thing's a lot more <laughs> Do you have more white? I do. Let me take it, because I just messed that up. Well, actually, it's, it's not already going to go cover all of it. Oh, yeah. There's like a ton of paint on that. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. We don't even need any extra. Cool. It's going to be so pretty, y'all. I'm tempted to leave it white. I'm like <laughs> such a white fan. What color are your couches? They are like, they almost look white, but they're like, just a tint of color like so not even definitely want to pop a color then yeah, yeah for definitely. sure definitely so what color you want to do next let's do let's start with the gold okay. do you think we should start with the gold or do you think we should start with the i think if you, you do the maybe gold, if you do gold next to the white it's going to make that pop okay and it's going to make the gold like more vibrant if you do the the blue next to the white it'll make like a light blue dark blue oh that's true okay so I guess we'll do the, the gold then because I actually with the blue I want just like the minimum accents. Yeah. You could even get the stick and like drizzle it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do that then. We'll do gold. Okay. And this will be cool too because you can spin it and you can get yeah. it all the sides. Perfect. Cool. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. So how do you think I should pour the gold though? I kinda wanna pour it with the stick because I don't want to do a full pour. <laughs> I mean, you're only gonna find out one way, so. Okay. okay. If you don't like it, you could always paint over it. Okay. Can we pop these bubbles? Mm hmm. There's just a few of them. There's some more. Thank you. 
I'm being shy with the gold. Don't be shy, girl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. Okay, that's a good idea. I'll just do, like, parts of it that have... Okay, cool. Yeah, it's already looking good. That looks good. Mask the floor with masking tape. I'm not sure which one. Oh, so she has a whole setup down here where it's completely um, set up to where if any paint gets on the floor, oh, she's covered. Yeah. yeah, my floor is all covered. Yeah, <laughs> she has a nice little setup here. Okay. Fiona Art, hello. That was an accident, but that came out pretty. I'm amazed by your work, Fiona. <laughs> That's lovely. I haven't seen your artwork, Fiona. This is like the only time I do art is when I'm here with Chelsea, and it's really a lot of fun. It's a sure great yeah. creative outlet. It is, isn't it? Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. It's coming out pretty already. She said, I want to paint. She does. Ooh. Look at how pretty it's coming out. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. Definitely to not be shy. Fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That looks cool. So I was recently in Colorado, and this is like, instantly reminding me of Garden of the Gods, like, I don't know if any of y'all have been there, but it's so pretty, and, like, just this natural look is reminding me of it. Super nice. Cool, I like that. Oh, yeah. Definitely needs some It's starting to look like marble. Uh-huh. Do you have enough gold? Yeah, I think so. This is definitely what I was aiming for. Is simple, but really nice. Linda says a water bottle may have worked under the vase. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to try that next time. Next time we get creative. Yeah. Okay, look, this one I guided the paint down with the stick. With the stick? Yeah, and look, it left like a white little line, which is cute too. Oh, yeah. You can take your pumpkin stick and go back through it too. Yeah, so. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm wasting all the paint though. But no, it's going down here, so that's good. Maybe I can do like this whole top part gold. Okay. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. It looks very, uh, like, like caramel. It does, doesn't it? Mm hmm I love caramel. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> like a caramel ice cream. <laughs> okay. You want to add some? Oh, I don't want to mess up the pretty days.
<laughs> what is it? She's a little chubby, so she sounds like that, but she's perfectly fine, I promise. <laughs> Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I want to see you add some food in the house. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we can be do it precise go. with it. Yeah. Wow. I also have like little, like, where are they? Little sticks. Oh, you get over here. We get like, oh, drag yeah. through. I think that this will be perfect for the blue because I just want the blue as an accent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I love how like the light kind of like back over the Yeah, that's nice. I'm trying to see on this side. Let me see. I'll have to go in for a close up. Yeah, there we go. Right there. I really yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite part, I think. Yeah. Um, so my least favorite part so far is this bottom, or I guess the top. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to it so that it kinda looks like it's coming from somewhere. Well, I guess it doesn't have to be coming from somewhere, huh? Maybe I should let go of the idea of perfect. Let's do that. Let me do just it. let that go. <laughs> I think it looks great. It does. I like it a lot. Do you think I should put the blue within the gold or separate on its own in the white? Kind of within both. the gold? You think both? Okay, let's see that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I think the gold and the blue, when they mix together, it'll be okay. really pretty. But also when the blue mixes with the white. I'm scared. Oh, wait, hold on. Ooh, okay. Look what I just did. Oh yeah, that looks so cool. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I figured it out. I'm gonna come around this side. Ooh, I like that a lot. Oh yeah. Okay. So, just kind of like blue little streaks throughout. And then I'll do some blue streaks on the white also. Like, super subtle. I know that that's, like, probably not what people were expecting, but I really, <laughs> like I said, I just like subtle and pretty. Nice. I like that. I like the perfect little utensil for it. Let's see where I can get this one to go. Ooh. I'm wondering if we get too far into it, if we should try that water bottle idea. Okay. I don't know if a water bottle is going to be too flimsy, though. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's hold off on it, then. Just in case. Looks so cool. It literally looks like a Sunday, like a caramel yes. Sunday. Now that you say that, that's so funny. Yes. <laughs> Especially in the video, from a distance, it looks like that. That is too funny. <laughs> you can have a big ice cream cone on yeah. your table. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so cool, though. Okay, then in that case, I'm adding more blue. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should add like a dark brown. That would be like the chocolate on top. Yeah. <laughs> and then like a pop of red for the cherry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
press them. Just kind of taking it up. Oh yeah. Oh, so I feel just getting that can of a bottle of beer in there. Oh, the wine bottle maybe. Oh. We just finished a bottle of wine a minute ago, <laughs> so. <laughs> well, not a minute ago. It's been a little while. Hmm. Okay. So uh, somebody was like, why don't you have it on something um, so it doesn't harden all funny? Oh. Uh, now that I'm looking at it when it dries. Yeah. But it's going to... Mm -hmm. I mean, we could always, like, cut it off and then, like, sand oh. it down. But it's, it's totally up to you. Okay. Uh, so... How would we lift it? <laughs> we might be a little too late for the bottle idea. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm gonna just take a an exacto knife to it. Yeah. What? I'm definitely gonna add more and more blue because as much as I love the colors, it really did look like an ice cream cone. And yeah, that's a cool idea for whoever wants an ice cream cone, mm -hmm. you know, vase, but I'll just keep going with the blues. You can mix up some more colors if you want to, too. True, you could. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. I like the blue. I do too, I like it a lot. Tulip almost like a or no, what are those flowers called? They're like trumpets almost. Those trumpet flowers. Oh yeah. Looks kind of similar. I love the way it's rolling off that bottom like lip. Uh-huh, I do too. Okay, yeah. Good idea with all the streaking of the blue. More and more blue. Just right. keep going. Anybody else off for Columbus Day today? So these have been the times I'm able to come over to Chelsea's. It's like, <laughs> like today I'm off for a holiday. The last time I was here because I got out of work early. <laughs> That's what we need more holidays. Yeah, more holidays, <laughs> more time for being creative. For sure. I know I've just been so busy with the kids lately. And I've not been painting as much. Yeah. Thanks, Fred. We're just kind of going with the flow to see what we come up with. So far, I really like it. The more blue that I'm adding, the more I'm liking it. Mm -hmm. Look, look this, is, this is, down here the blue is really starting to look like those trumpet flowers I was talking about. That looks so pretty. Oh, yeah. I love it. And I love how it has like the darker and then the, the blues are expanding and it has like the lighter fade to it. I love it. Let me come around here. Get a close up of this right here. Oh yeah. How pretty. Mm. 
really like it a lot. You know, I wonder if like a like a hunter green, like, because I almost feel like this looks like, um, like, like pretty flowers themselves. Someone said I'd choose a higher contrast color. Okay, yeah. So let's do another like a hunter green. Let's see what we got. Okay. Let's do that. I don't even want to mess with this side anymore. I love how that came out. At least as far as blues go. <clears throat> I wonder. What about like a metallic leaf green? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Metallic Leaf Green by Artist Lock. Sounds good to me. I'm really, really liking this, y'all. I think it's really pretty. Yeah. Especially considering that's not what I had in mind, but it's coming out really nice. I like it a lot. Sometimes that happens. Yeah. Comes out like not what you're expecting, but you're in love with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he says he was too late. Dark blue is perfect. But we'll see what it looks like with a little bit of added green. So I'm definitely going to have a lot more blue than the green, but I think I just want to add a little bit of the green. We'll see how it comes out. You need to come over more often. I know. <laughs> I need more days off. Yes, you do. Tell Cindy <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I gotta go do art. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and this is honestly the most creative that I'm able to get, like, I don't get to do much at home in terms of art. I think the the most I can consider like um, being creative is just working with my plants at home. And aside from that, that's it. So this is a really, I really enjoy this. It's fun. Nice. Yeah, this is such a pretty color. Ooh. It has like a gold, I don't know if you can see it from there. Maybe I can try to make it look like, um, I'm not going to try to make it look like anything because I doubt that it'll come out and I'm just going to go with it. So we'll do that. So we're going to add some more blue. I just want to make sure that this is all mixed up. This is so pretty. You're gonna love this color. Yeah. I love the metallics. Okay, check that out. Ooh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna use that other or this same. Where were they? Oh, here they are. Just kidding. Oh yeah, sorry. I put them right next to you. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> So maybe I can do some green down in here, almost like roots. You're hired. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Add a little bit of green in here. 
Maria's up for commissions. Hey, should we um, <laughs> blow some of these um, bubbles out? I see a sure. bubble. I know there's one here. Just go over. start with the green now but I'm sure it'll it'll start coming together. Into yeah. different lengths. Are you looking out the window? <laughs> what do you see Bella? What do you see? How much green do you think I should put? I feel like this is looking, it was looking to start with like, um, like an ice cream <laughs> sundae and then it wasn't and now it kind of is again. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. It's like. It's very different. It's kind of like contemporary to me. Yeah, it is. Can I zoom in on this? Oh, oh my gosh, I can zoom while I'm on live. What? Nice. <laughs> this is our first time being, her first time being live, my first time like being on camera at all. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, bear with me. I'm just going to play with some buttons here. I guess I'm finding the more of an angle I go at, the more I get that kind of effect of like a flower rather than just a straight pin line. So let's see. What, baby? There's even filters on this live. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> You're popping right now. Did you add silicone oil to the colors? No, we did not. What does that do? That creates cells. Oh, okay, okay. Like. So, did like you get to show them painting? this? This is what we worked on last time. No, I did not. So, it's just varnished. There's three pieces. Okay, yeah, Linda says to wipe as much of the excess paint off of here when we finish. That way it's not as difficult to clean it up when we're done. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Or when it dries, I guess. I was thinking we should put it on top of a canvas, but I didn't know. I was thinking maybe that vase was a little bit too big, Which kind of way down a canvas. Oh, okay. that vase. I see what you're saying. Because yeah. that's what I did with the the other one so there wasn't like that much wasted paint mm -hmm. 
and I also had it sitting on a cup. So oh. it was very easy to like pick up and like yeah. move. But my brain's on vacation today, so. <laughs> That's all we have for today. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting cut short. Yeah. Well, thank you everybody who joined us for our first live. And this acrylic pour over this unique face. So until next time. Bye. Bye. See you later.